When you buy traffic from a native advertising traffic source like Taboola and Outbrain and you're in the very beginning, you might wonder yourself, I just optimized the campaigns, what to do the rest of the day? Why all of these media buyers are like writing and commenting, it's so overwhelming and they don't have anything to do. So it might be that you have like a lack of optimization level. Let me tell you a bit more and a few insights in our agency, how we're doing it and how we're working on a daily basis. Hi everyone, my name is Marcel Sattler. I'm the founder of Purple Black, a native advertising only agency. What we're doing on a daily basis is we run profitable performance marketing campaigns on native advertising traffic sources like Tabula, Outbrain, New Gemini, and many, many more. And I started myself as an affiliate many, many years ago, and it was pretty intense because I've done everything by myself. And I also spoke with some people and they're like, you know, as a media buyer, honestly, what do you do all day long? You just check your campaigns in the morning, drink a cup of coffee and that's it, isn't it? And back then I already invented something which is used in the, in the software development, which is called a retro perspective and sprints. So this is what we are still using in our agency in Purple Black to optimize the campaigns on a weekly basis, plus improve the campaigns and the performance, the important KPIs, even on a weekly basis. So let me explain you the idea behind of it. Many people are happy if the campaign is profitable and then they are like relaxing, calming down and laying back and zipper tequila uh, on a nice beach. But the main issue here is that just the campaign is good. Usually you can still squeeze out a better performance here. And I always wanted to have a better performance and to improve the KPIs in my favor, of course. So this was the reason why we developed our strategy here to increase the performance plus to work on a daily basis on the campaigns. So I know when you are in an agency, it might be a bit differently because you're working on different client accounts. However, when you run your own native advertising accounts, it's not that you have like, and you just spend, let's say $500 per day. It's not that it's like a full eight hour daily job. That's definitely not the case if the campaigns are already set it up and live, you know, if you just, if it's just about optimization, then it's definitely not a full time job. 100% agree here. But if you run higher budgets, then it might be a full time job already. And even though if it's not a full time job, you should invest a couple of hours per week to work on your campaigns. Let me jump on my screen to show you detailed how we're working with sprints and our retros to increase the performance on our campaigns. All right, so the main idea is to improve the campaign performance and native is a bit slow. So it doesn't make sense to check out and press F5 on your campaigns like every two minutes, honestly. Let's say you already have a campaign which is running and doesn't matter if it's like Outbrand, Taboola, or MJD, Ref Content, whatever. Let's say you already have a campaign. This is our campaign. And this campaign is running. So, and what we are doing here at Purple Black and what I would recommend everybody who is buying media from an affiliate network or from an, sorry, from a traffic source in native advertising is to check out the campaign and set a baseline. So the baseline are the most important KPIs for you. So this can be the CTR, this can be the cost per click, this can be the cost per acquisition, this can be the return on ad spend, this can be everything which is important for you. And with this baseline, you have obviously your baseline, but you know your numbers. So let this be like a month X, Y, Z, and so. So let's say in our sample here, let's say the CPA is the important KPI parameter here. And let's say the CPA currently, and again, this is just fictional, you know, these numbers are not real. So this is just fictional. Let's say the CPA currently is 50 US dollar. And let's say this is okay. It's a bit profitable, but nothing crazy. And you obviously want to decrease the CPA to increase your return on ad spend. So you want to buy the or do the acquisition cheaper than you do it now. And what you do then is you go into the campaign and analyze it. So for example, I always recommend to do if you have like one campaign, you know, you have different image types, you have different headlines inside. Basically, let's say you have two different types of images, one image like something with vectors or something like um, with, with which is not a real picture. 
some vector graphics and one picture with the product and one picture, let's say, with the product plus a human. So these are the different directions you might have inside your campaign. And this is just from a picture perspective. You can do the same with the headlines. I will explain this a bit later. And what you're doing then is you analyze and you double check which one of these three directions is doing the best. And then you might see, for example, okay, this one here, the product with the human is working the best. So then you know this is the baseline. And here maybe for that specific image combination, you have a CPA of, let's say, 35. So why is this differently than the 50 here above? Obviously, because this CPA is just for that specific ad here, like the combination of a headline and an image. This CPA is just for this ad here. And this CPA here is for the whole campaign, which includes also, of course, for example, here, a possible CPA of 70 and so on and so forth. So this is like more or less the median. And this one is a, sp a specific one for this concrete creative. And now you have your baseline here. And what we want to do is like you use the same campaign, but on the next week, let's say this was week one. And this is might or this might be a bit overwhelming for you. Therefore, I would recommend you to watch this video twice. So let's say this was week one and now you have the week two. So we know already that this campaign is doing well. So we stay in the same campaign. And this depends also a bit on the traffic source. Honestly, I would not always recommend to stay in the same campaign, but in our sample now it makes sense. And then we have our baseline picture where we know, okay, the CPA was 35 in the last week. And what do we do then? We create more or less lookalikes from this. So we create lookalikes from the headline and from the image. So let's say this was a woman. Then we're using now also a man, a family, and then we're analyzing after this campaign was running for one week. This is then our retro perspective. Then we are analyzing, okay, which one is now working the best? So let's say here we have 38. And let's say here we have 33. So the family was working the best. So now, now we have the data and we know, okay, this picture was working better than the other pictures. And now we still stay in the same campaign, but now this is our baseline. So now we stay with different families. Now we stay with a family with a dogo, family with two kids, family with, I don't know, two cats, whatever. I think you get the idea. And this is what we're doing. So therefore, we, we are not running into ad fatigue, into ad burn. That means our ads are not burning but we still keep usually the good performers actively. And if we see, okay, maybe this was not working and it's it's going to be more expensive again, then we can do the rollback because we have something implemented and I would also recommend this to you, which is like a change log. You might have heard it uh, from, it's very common in the software area that you just note down or write down the changes you do. And I would also recommend you to do this, especially if you're like more serious to buy in native advertising traffic, because in case this is not working, for example, you can always make the roll back and you can always set everything back to the status which you have had before. Very important here. So this iteration process, this sprint and retro perspective, you can do with the headlines, you can do with the images. Usually we are using the combination, the ad itself. We are using for this the headline plus the image, which is the ad. And with this, you can shoot for the best results. And when you want to shoot for even better results, then I can recommend you our Native Advertising Society. Our Native Advertising Society is an exclusive network for like-minded people. It doesn't matter if you are in affiliate marketing, arbitrage, in e-com, legion, whatever. So we have here an exclusive community for like-minded people where you can ask your questions. Furthermore, we have in our classroom here, some huge content videos. And what I mean with huge is honestly, it's huge because you can see here we have all the basic information, how to set up a native advertising campaign, how to use Taboola, how to optimize Taboola, how to use Outbrain, how to optimize Outbrain. We will show you 
a view, an exclusive view in our campaign. So you can see them, you can see how we are working. What's the best practice here for headlines, for images, what's push traffic. And we have a lot of knowledge here about native ads in general, search ARP, volume, content arbitrage, and new content will follow here continuously. Furthermore, we also have live calls, which you can see here in our calendar and way, way more things. It's a paid community. It's an exclusive community. You can join it and you will get exclusive access to our exclusive content here. Plus you can ask your questions. That means if you're stuck somewhere, you can ask your questions here. You can join our live calls and ask me there. And I'm personally and my team is answering all of these questions. So we are here to help you and to build this community together with you guys. It's a paid community. Uh, it's $99 per month and it's definitely worth it. If you want to join, just go to school. It's S-K-O-O-L dot com slash native minus ads. Again, it's school.com slash native minus ads and it's just $99 per month. I hope you liked this video. If so, I would extremely appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and of course, when you subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to receive an update when I upload a new video about nothing but native here on YouTube. Have a good one. See you next time.